Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. Today it's Sunday, and we're just going to kind of take it easy. Uh, I might force myself to go outside and try to review that solar charger panel, because the uh, sun is out nice and bright. The humidity is about 90%. So I might do that. Uh, I really need to, because I've had that panel for a while. But anyway, today... Right now, it's um, early in the morning, so it uh, wouldn't be applicable to go out there and try to test that panel right now because the sun's too low on the horizon. So we're inside, and we're going to look at a new ebook. And you can get this ebook off of Amazon if you're a part of the Kindle Unlimited Club, which costs $9.95 a month. And then uh, you can download up to 10 books um, and keep as long as you want, as long as you're a member of the club. And then if you want an 11th book, you have to return one. It's kind of like a library. So anyway, today, uh, actually, ooh, gosh, let's see. If I go up here, it says May 21st, I got this book. And that's when a, one of my subscribers sent me an email and said, hey, did you realize you can get this book free? And what it is, it's the International Shortwave Broadcast Guide for the summer of 2016. And um, the Van Horns, Gail and Larry, uh, put out this book reference guide, I'll call it, uh, twice a year uh, about what's list- what you can hear on shortwave. And... This year, he, uh, this particular issue, he's added a lot of front-end stuff if you're new to this hobby, which I'm going to briefly show you in the next few minutes. So you can, like I say, you can get this free if you're a member of that unlimited club on Amazon, or you can buy it outright for $6.49. This is an ebook. Okay. So, let's go down to my Kindle Reader. This is a reader that you can get off of Amazon for free. It runs on your PC. So, you don't have to have a Kindle or tablet or anything to look at these ebooks. You can just look at them on your PC, which sometimes is more convenient because you get a nice big screen. But it is nice to have. The capability of having it on a portable device. And again, it doesn't have to be a Kindle. It can be some other tablet. I, matter of fact, I think I have this on my cell phone. It's a Samsung cell phone. Anyway, let's get to the book. Gee whiz, I ramble all the time. So anyway, here is the table of contents. Uh, it starts off with a pretty long article about clandestine stations stations that are well, some people call these pirate stations and what how they've changed over the years um, and then the next section is what is shortwave listening in case you're new to shortwave listening and then getting started in shortwave listening and let me just click on that for a second and here's all the subtopics you know how to buy a shortwave radio um, buying either a new or used, which you should get and why. And then uh, there's some basics about shortwave listening and using computer sound cards to enhance your shortwave listening. Um, so there's a lot of, lot of good information that uh, they've added to this guide. And then the next section is who's who's in shortwave spectrum. Talks about what kind of broadcasters out there. Uh, tropic band listening, which I can do because tropic coal, excuse, excuse me, band listening, and so on down the mess on 40 and 41 meters. Um, see what it says. For years, there's probably been no larger mess in the shortwave spectrum than the 40 and 40 way. 41 meter band. That's because it's a mixture of 
shortwave general transmissions and the ham band. They kind of semi overlap. Okay, let's go on down here. Here's utility monitoring, which I'm always interested in. Tells you what it is, you know, where to listen. And then down here, it's got a section on what do we listen? Why do we listen? Excuse me. Why do we listen? Uh, why do we not be able to read? Oh, boy. And this this is a good section here. Teak, which is the name of the group, this group and their publisher that publishes this book and many, many other books about shortwave listing. And his, his pick... Uh, the hot HF frequencies. And this is kind of, I think, in general, beyond the international broadcast band. So these are, I would even catalog them under the utility monitoring. So uh, he's got a long listing of frequencies you can listen to. You can listen to the government. You can listen to uh, Arrow. Marine, long distance communications, although that's kind of gone by the wayside with satellite phones. And just goes on and on, just tons of detail. So there's, this gives you a great indication how much there is out there to listen to besides just the international broadcast bands. And that's one of the things I've tried to allocate is. You know, shortwave HF band is not dead by any means. Some of this st stuff is a little outdated. And it's, here's, the, here's the international broadcast band. And how to use it in target areas and, and stuff that you'll see in the final section of this guide. And we'll go down here, and here it is. The International Shortwave Broadcast Frequency Guide. And this is a long listing of everything that's on the international shortwave bands. And it's broken down by time. And then it breaks it down by frequency. So you like here's from 000 UTC to 8 p.m. ET. Or, excuse me, it's, U, it's 0 UTC or 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time or 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. So this, tell, this tells you what's on during that time frame. The exact time it's on from, in this case, 0 to 30. And over here, the frequencies. And... I believe the designation out here on the end is where the station is trying to broadcast to, you know, where their antenna is pointed. Back up here at the top, um, where to go, it tells you what all these things mean, all these little things mean. Work. I had it here a second ago. Oh, and there, there's a breakdown by, it's bits and bytes, and this is about a little blurb about each of the countries that are still heavily broadcasting on shortwave. So you can see this thing is a huge book. Let me go back here to the web page. Where to go? It is 939 pages. Now, keep in mind... When it said pages, these are ebook pages, and generally you get about between two and four regular size book pages, hardbound, hard copy pages to, excuse me, yeah, you get, I think I better go back to bed. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is for every For every regular size hard 
Eastbound book page, you get four of those pages on an ebook. So you have to take this number. It's kind of, you know, between two and four. You have to take this number, 939, and you have to divide it by either two or four, and that's how many pages would be in a full, say, 8 by 11 or a little smaller hardbound book. Does that make any sense? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have gone down there. Okay. What's this say? The estimated length is calculated by using the number of page turns on Kindle using setted settings closely representing a typical book. Now I'm really confused. So I'm sorry I even mentioned that. But anyway, just keep in mind, these numbers are much bigger than if it was an 8x10 hard copy book. So keep that in mind. <sighs> wow, why did I go down that path? I don't know. Yeah, I don't have an excuse. I'm just... I don't have an excuse. Anyway, I really suggest, number one, if you're new to shortwave listening or even ham radio, this is a great reference book to get you started, kind of give you a, a feel for what's out there. Also, if you're, you know, you're not an amateur, you're a, well, again, that's not the right term because it's amateur radio operator. If you're not a newbie, then, then, this is still a good reference book because they've attempted to give you the latest and greatest information. Like I say, they publish this book twice a year. This guide, I'll call it. This, yeah, it's a guide. Well, well, I call it a guide because it is a guide. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? It's, you know, I had a birthday this month and now I'm really old. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Get the book. It's a good book. If you're a part of Kindle Unlimited, this is, I can't believe they put this book in Kindle Unlimited. Usually, the books that are in Kindle Unlimited usually cost about $2.99. This one is $6.49. So, I, um, I kind of have fallen behind on my Kindle Unlimited subscription. I have not been keeping up. Usually... Man, I check this thing like once a week. Well, I haven't been doing that. And thanks for the gentleman that sent the email and said, hey, don't miss out on this deal. So thank you very much. Anyway, I don't, I don't know if I asked this or not, but if you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Have a great day. I'm sorry for the confusion. Bye-bye.